This question was asked in IES paper 2021, paper one, question 4B. Why is it possible for a monopolist to earn super normal profits in the long run? So the basic idea is that the monopolist is able to earn super normal profits in the long run because he can create barriers to entry. Because there is a lack of perfect information. And when there are barriers to entry, then uh, the problem comes is that there is no other firm is able to come into the market which can probably produce or sell at a lower price, right? So monopolists try to deter entry in some way or the other, and it becomes difficult for the new firms to enter into such markets. So this is the reason why monopolist able, is able to earn super normal profits in the in the long run also. This doesn't happen in case of the perfect competition. So don't think that in the perfect competition, even in the short run, people are not making money. They are. But when people, other people, other firms understand that this industry is making profits, so why not get into this industry and try to make some profits? So then in the long run, because everyone is selling the similar product, everyone earns just their cost, right? Or their price is equal to the margin cost, but not for the monopolist. Right. So please write alongside monopolist. Is able to earn is able to earn super normal profits in the long run. Because one, there is a lack of perfect information. and uh, entry barriers. Right. Entry barriers. So what do you mean by the lack of the perfect information? There could be the case that uh, for example, see, don't always think in terms of when, whenever you think in terms of monopoly, you think in terms of railways only. That's a natural monopoly, right? But there can be a monopoly of a bakery even in a localized area, no? And there might be some other bakery also in, in that local area, but people do not have the perfect information. People don't know that the quality of the other baker is even better than this monopolist baker. So there is lack of perfect information. So the way he is able to portray himself is that, I mean, uh, his his product is, is, is the best. And, and the people, the 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 buyers, they do not have the perfect information. So that is also one of the reasons why monopolist is able to earn the super normal profits in the future. So please write, most markets have a degree of barriers to entry and exit. That is also true. Right. So sometimes, uh, I mean, supposedly if you want to uh, fight with a monopolist, you would want to enter. One, it is difficult to enter such a market. And supposedly, even if you enter, then you would have invested a lot of money in order to enter. Now, you can't just exit, seeing this, that you're not making profits. So there also is the problem. So there is not only the entry barriers, there, is, there are exit barriers as well. Right. There are sunk costs.
which deter entry, right? So even if few firms or just just a monopolist firm is able to uh, make some profits, the other firms they cannot enter because there are entry barriers. I mean, you need a lot of investment. You need a lot of sunk cost to be paid. I mean, this cannot be uh, reaped back. There's no way you can do that. Uh, and if by doing the business for some time, you realize that you're not making profits, you can't even exit. So all of this act as a barrier for the new firms to enter the market, right? So new firms will not be able to enter or to compete. So even if few firms are making some profits, the other firms are not going to come. So you have uh, the quantity out here. You have uh, price and cost out here. You have the demand curve, which is the AR curve. And you have the MR curve. You have the AC curve, right? You guys have uh, the AC curve like this. Okay, I can also draw it like this. Uh -huh. Something like this. It's not necessary that it is going to be. Okay. And this is what my. MC curves. My AC curve, this is what my MC curve, right? Oh, there's a lot of money to be made in this kind of scenario. Your MC equals to MR comes here. Mm -hmm. Your MC equals to MR come here, and uh, you will be charging this much of price. And uh, your demand equals to supply one of point. For the perfectly competitive market, it comes here. And in the perfect competition, you're making this much price. So this is the monopolist quantity. This is the monopolist price. This is the competitive quantity. This is the competitive price. This is the competitive price. Right, so as you guys could see, the monopolist is going to produce lesser as compared to the competitive outcome. And it is going to charge more as compared to the competitive price, right? So the main thing is that you have to create a significant entry barriers to entry and the credible threats to any new potential competition. So the key is maintenance of significant entry barriers and credible threats to any new any new potential competition right for example um, you see this in case of uh, the pharmaceutical companies so what do they do they they have the series of patents with them. So you 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 look at uh, in in the COVID uh, pandemic, uh, these pharmaceutical companies they have the patents for them. So not any other medical pharma company can start producing a vaccine. So they have a patent for a stipulated time, and they also continue their advertisements. So I mean, people see the other potential entrances, see that they are they are advertising also a lot 
and we do not have money for such a huge advertisement so it is better not to enter such a market so that's that's the way other people the other potential entrants would start start thinking so for example in case of pharma products how do they create entry barriers they have the series of patents with them and uh, the continued ad advertisements continued advertisements they act as the barriers to entry right and only few selected companies they can earn super normal profits in the long run right so uh, but the imperfect information so the other companies may not have the formula for the vaccine they would not share it and the limited information it serves i mean further to restrict the new entrants right so even in the pharma products what happens is that uh, limited information limited information also it uh, what do you call it it further restricts the new entrants to come to the market right and what happens is that uh, these selected few pharma companies they, uh, they 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 actually make huge profits right so even though these these pharma companies they are oligopolies i mean but uh, but still the the example seems to be fine uh, so that's that's an idea about uh, this kind of the question which you have to answer so you might need to explain a, a little more uh, all of these points so i've just given you the gist of what you should be writing in the answer right thank you vidya